Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can embed a Word document into a OneNote. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start in our OneDrive. So I'm going to click over here to go to my OneDrive and obviously just need to find where I've saved this document. And in this case, this is it here. So this is the Word document that I want to share. So first things first you need to do is change the sharing permissions um, for the document. So you see here in the very last column on the right hand side, it has it set to private. I need to change that. So if I click on private, okay, manage access comes up and I can click this share option. After that, I have a few options in here. I can click here to look at the different ways I can share it. So with basically anybody or specific people, I'm leaving it with this one here um, that I've already got ticked because basically I want to share it with people who are in my organization. So people who are in my school and that works perfectly fine for me. And the other thing I want to do here in this instance is I want to make this word document view only. So that means that when it goes into the um, one note that students won't be able to open it up and make changes to it. So to do that, I just need to click this allow editing and switch that one off. After that, I can apply. And just as a little side note, you can always type the email address or, um, of someone here to send them that document in view. You can also kind of click here to just copy a link and you can also kind of forward that link on. So if we close down manage access and if I refresh my page, what you're going to notice is here that this bridge document challenge is now shared okay so from there what i need to do is if i just click on to open up the document i come up here to the url bar and i copy the url and i go back to my OneNote and i right click to paste give that a couple of seconds and there it is my document is embedded you can scroll through the document you still have your options to kind of expand the the document accordingly and it will kind of do all the spacing out for you. Please do keep in mind it's just representing itself as a view only um, version of here so you can't write over the top of it. Students can't come in and edit or make changes. Um, you do have a little link at the top here and that link will go to that Word document um, in a web browser. You don't have to have that there if you don't want to. You can select it and delete it and it will make no changes to the embedded document that is on the page. Anyway, I hope that's a helpful tip and we'll see you again soon.